हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रुंजी स्कूल मस्ती टुडे आई एम शेयरिंग रेसिपी ऑफ धाबा स्टाइल मीठी मलाई मटन सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट कुकिंग फॉर धाबा स्टाइल मीठी मलाई मटन फर्स्ट टेक अ पैन हीट इट ऑन मीडियम फ्लेम ऐड सम घी और क्लैरिफाइड बटर द ग्रेवी फॉर धाबा स्टाइल मीठी मलाई मटन इज रेड इन कलर इट इज नॉट व्हाइट इन कलर वंस द घी इज नाइस एंड हॉट वी विल ऐड होल स्पाइसेस that is bay leaf cardamom and cinnamon give it a quick mix saute it for 20 to 30 seconds next goes onion finely chopped onion cumin seeds give it a quick mix saute it on medium flame till the onion becomes golden brown in color while cooking the onions keep stirring it frequently for uniform cooking I was sauteing onions on medium flame for 12 minutes. The time will vary depending on the intensity of your flame. Now we will add green chilies, ginger garlic paste. Give it a quick mix. Saute it on medium flame for 2 minutes. We want to get rid of the raw smell of ginger garlic paste. After 2 minutes it's time to add the dry spices. Switch on the flame to low. First goes asafoetida, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin seed powder, spicy red chili powder, and Kashmiri red chili powder. You can adjust the heat according to your liking. Give it a quick mix. Add little hot water to prevent spices from burning. Cook it on low flame for 2 to 3 minutes. After 2 minutes you can see that the ghee has separated from the powdered spices. It's time to add the tomato puree. Give it a quick stir. At this stage I will add little salt to speed up the process of cooking. Give it a quick mix. Cook without cover on medium flame for 2 minutes. After 3 minutes we will cover the pan with the lid and let it cook on medium flame for 10 to 15 minutes. You can open the lid and give it a stir at regular intervals. You can also add water if required. Now 15 minutes are over. Let's open the lid and check on tomatoes. You can see that the ghee is separated and tomatoes are also cooked. At this stage we will add green peas. Give it a quick mix. I will add little water to adjust the consistency. Time required to cook the tomatoes will also vary if you are using large quantity of tomatoes. So it all depends on the intensity of the flame and the quantity you are using. Cook this for 2 minutes. I am using frozen green peas. If you are using fresh green peas then you have to cook the green peas for 4 to 5 minutes on medium flame. After cooking green peas for 2 to 3 minutes it's time to add the star ingredient of the vegetable that is methi give it a quick mix let this cook on low to medium flame for 10 to 12 minutes i was cooking methi on low to medium flame for 10 minutes cooking methi for 10 minutes will help to get rid of its bitterness to certain extent Now let's add kasuri methi. This is optional. Garam masala, lime juice, juliennes of ginger. Give it a quick mix. I will add little water to adjust the consistency. Very little. No need to cook it. Now switch off the flame. Add cream. give it a mix after adding the cream don't cook the vegetable otherwise the cream will split and the ghee will come on the top it will spoil the texture of the vegetable add a little more check the seasoning before you switch off the flame 
add fresh coriander leaves, cilantro leaves, give it a quick mix. Transfer this to the serving bowl. Once you transfer it to the serving bowl, garnish it with julienne of ginger. This is optional. Grated paneer. And cherry tomato on the top. Our methi malai matter is ready. You can serve this with naan, roti or paratha and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Till then, happy cooking. Take care. Bye-bye.